Hello everybody, I like to continue with my experimentation with Tesla's one wire energy transmission system. So the wireless transmission system I did work on is, is part of it and there is a variety of experiments I would like to conduct. Experiments for example from Mr. Kabanaze or from Don Smith and some um, which have been done by Eric Dollard. There's a website which is called Free Energy Inventions. You see Tyrell Kapanazza there. You'll find this website linked under research websites on my page and that's the one I'm going to focus. So generator on the left hand side as you see there's one rod connection. There is no opposite um, turning on the secondary is one long rod and you have an opposite primary turn on the receiving side. So that's what I did build here. I want to investigate the power transmission here and the functionality. I use 20 kilowatt 20 kilovolt um, 10 nanofarad capacitors and based on our environment radiation talking about mobile phone and talking about wireless network here in the neighborhood and power lines you name it this system is already in resonance to the environment so there is a small current and voltage already existing which I can measure on the oscilloscope but that is in a half volt up to one volt um, value measurable it's very low I, I might get it increased when I extended experiments and we put it outside and will actually elevate the terminals you see here to around three to five meter so here's the terminals connected to the end of the sending or let's say the generating um, side of the Tesla coil, the primary, you already know. So those of you have seen my, my videos before. The, so the capacitor is connected in parallel to the primary and one side, the inbound side here is connected also to the end side of the Tesla coil. And the middle side, the interesting part here, it happens here is a direct connection there's nothing in between so the secondary coils on both sides are wound in the same direction they are both counterclockwise wound in the next experiment I will create some new coils secondary coils so I will do that exactly as we have done it with a wireless network we will have counterclockwise here counterclockwise on the secondary so we have clockwise on a on the secondary on the receiving side and currently I have clockwise on a primary and again at the small side connecting the other terminal here to this side I have attached measurements here from the middle to my um, DMM and the other side on the outside goes to the DMM oscilloscope pulse generator, frequency counter and for those of you who do not know I created a little tutorial how to create um, a high power driver doesn't cost much so if you would buy this little driver um, from shops like um, Inexis, Inexis or from other um, power provider it costs you about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars you can buy it with all components roughly around hundred hundred fifty dollar power supply and that should get us started also on my website is the other patent, patent which has been um, granted in 2001 is from the Afra Menko process it's a one wire power transmission system and it actually references three Tesla um, patents here and other examples, a lot of literature. Let me go through briefly what we have here. 
So you have energy generation on the left hand side and then you have various um, networks to the receiving side. So there's one figure and um, there's another figure here where you create it in a different fashion. Um, so we, um, Jean-Louis Nordin, also linked on my website, has conducted this experiment in the beginning of 2000 successfully. There's another example. I will not replicate this here one um, one to one, but I will take parts of it out, of, parts of it, which which means I use the system, um, generate um, the input side, and take off the energy on the output side. First, I measure it, then we'll rectify it, we'll draw energy out of it, and we do a comparison about this. So our first test will be completely without any power input we just have let's say an advanced crystal radio set now and see what kind of properties we get from there so we have our coils we have our terminals and so on I have not connected the oscilloscope either I just want to make sure that there is no artificial power on the system so whatever is now in resonance with this setup is from the environment that means radiation, mobile phone, wireless network and so on as I mentioned before. I connect only on one side or the end side um, so com that means the negative or let's say the grounding side and keep in yours completely the red part. As you can see We have around one volt at the moment. So I would be able to set it up this way on the germanium, germanium um, diodes and would draw some energy out of it. Now let's see what happens if I connect that now to the earth ground. So that means earth ground comes in here. I treat it as a different power source and here from the environment where this ground source see what kind of interaction we get. Let's have a look. You might not believe it. I didn't believe it myself. I came up to 11 volt is about 6 volt at the moment. 6 volt nothing and this is just the RF ground I built in my garden connecting to the system to a DMM, which is battery powered, going into the to one side of Tesla coil, and I draw six volt out of here, continuously. That is definitely something. Let's see what the oscilloscope says. So I will set it up on oscilloscope now, and check out the performance and gives you some more details about the harmonics and what's going to happen if we interfere with stray capacitance with our body and so on. Um, into the system to see how the energy flows in it and how it actually aligns to the vibration. My setup is now as follow. I have in the tradition of a Tesla coil the lower end of the Tesla coil connected to the ground. That goes to a capacitor, a variable capacitor in here. So I actually change the capacitance between the inbound side. Now let's have a look how that looks here. So this is via my RF network. There are 10 rods around the ground, around my garden, covering about over 40 meter. I get a very strong reading here. It's about 2.6 volt. Measured here. Measured here also via the middle side from this. Let's see when I change the capacitor it changes the Q. Yeah, that's 2.7 volt ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look if I change with my hand terminal setting. No, it's reducing it. So that's not helping. 
diffuses the output. Let's get it from on the terminal side. On the inbound side it's the same thing. No, it has to be that way. So let's fine tune now with earth ground via variable capacitor going in here. It's very nice. Just for the sake of arguments, you want to see the uh, frequency. Let's have a look. Yep, it's 189, around 189, 200. So 200 kHz is my calculated my calculated resonance frequency of this Tesla coil and that is confirmed here 